I'm going to take you through your warm up for today. Thank you for pressing play. I'll get you to forward fold over into windmill, bringing our hands flat down on the floor. So taking your legs out as wide as you need to be here. Spread your fingers along the floor and taking an inhale to open up through the shoulders here, following the eye line with your hand, driving through your hips, getting into your hip flexor stretch and just preparing our body for our sculpt training today. Beautiful, we have a few more to go here. Nice big exhale as you drive that arm around. Fabulous, a couple more here, you're almost done. And one more, and we're gonna make our way down onto four point kneeling. So coming down onto the ground into that four point kneeling position. This one can be a little bit tricky to gain, so give yourself a little bit of a chance to learn the move. We're not trying to move the lower back too much. What we're trying to work is in between the scapula and the shoulder blades. So I'll get you to separate the shoulder blades as you're extending your spine up towards your ceiling and then letting your shoulder blades kiss down and together. Beautiful, and you wanna give yourself a little bit of a practice. We're often quite locked out through the shoulders here. So you just wanna get a little bit of extra mobility happening through here before we start getting into our weight training for today. Beautiful, we have a few more to go. Beautiful, now we're going up into our full extension. You know this one, going up into your cat cow. You're gonna inhale as you're taking your chin up towards the ceiling, driving your shoulders back and down, drive up into your exhale, making sure you're tucking under that tailbone. And let's start thinking about our core, driving up through our pelvic floor transverse. Beautiful, nice deep breath, inhale and exhale to prepare the body. Nice straight arms, let's go for one more. Exhaling up. Beautiful, and down. Beautiful, I'll get you to make your way down into your tummy. Coming into what's called a baby cobra. You're gonna have your legs slightly separate. Bring your hands back right near your armpits. Drive your shoulder blades back and down. Take a nice deep breath in as you extend up. And down. Allowing the spine to warm up. Beautiful. Not taking it too high. You're learning, engaging how your vertebrae is feeling today. Modifying as you need to, warming up through that spine. Beautiful. Now we're going into a move called a McKenzie. You're going to take your hands out nice and wide, turn the fingertips out. It's the same one, you're a little bit more warm through your vertebrae now, so you can extend up a little bit higher. When you're at the top here, squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back and lower down. Fabulous. Nice deep breath in. Extend and squeeze those shoulder blades. Beautiful. And lowering down. Not pushing past your level. So you come up as high as it works for you. Beautiful, getting that beautiful squeeze. Let's go for one more here. Fabulous. And I'm gonna get you to come over onto your back. Getting ready for our dead bug. Okay, so making your way over onto your back. And the hardest part about the dead bug exercise is we're warming up our core. We want to set our core for our sculpting workout today. The hardest thing about this is the coordination. So you're going to have a little bit of a laugh at yourself and it's okay. You're going to take your arms up over the hip chest, knees are up over the hips and you're going to extend one leg, one arm away, bringing it back in the middle. Perfect. Extending out on the in, exhale. Beautiful, holding that T-zone switched on, so keeping your pelvic floor on. Beautiful, one more on each side. This is an old good core exercise. Beautiful, and finish, well done. Taking your arms out to 45 degrees. I'll get you to set through your core, so drawing your belly button, driving it down and towards your back. Take a nice deep breath, inhale over to the side. As you're driving it back into the middle, really exaggerate and use your abdominals to pull the knees back into the centre. So we're not just swinging the knees over to the side, we're engaging and activating our core so it's set for our workout today. Fabulous, we're gonna go for a couple more. Just laying your head and shoulders down onto the floor and concentrating on your core. Let's go for a nice deep breath in and exhale, pulling it back into the centre. Terrific, and last one. Beautiful, and our warm up is all done.
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today. All right, ninjas, ready to max out your strength on this round. Grabbing one dumbbell, a little bit lighter on this one. Going into your drinking bird, so balancing onto that one leg, driving through your pelvis into that hinge there, going into a dumbbell switch. So alternating the hands. Keep driving through that hip. Driving up through your elbow as you pull up towards the ceiling. Two to go. Beautiful, changing legs. If you need to, you're going to let that opposite foot just have that toe tap down if you need to help yourself out with that assistance on your balance. Driving up through your core, pulling up through the elbows, opening up that big, driving that elbow up towards the ceiling. And done, fantastic. Grabbing your second dumbbell. This one's called a maker. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, drive them down onto the floor, jump out, hold, row, row, jump in and press. Good, keep going. Keep that belly button drawn in towards your spine. Terrific, keep going. If you need, need to, what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down, step out, step out, come down onto the knees, elbow drive for your renegade row, lift up, step in, terrific, one more. Jump in and extend up, terrific. Dumbbells down, okay. Coming down into four point kneeling. Our first one on this one, coming into your oblique twists. So four point kneeling, dropping each hip down and towards the floor and done. Beautiful, coming up to a stand. Ready to go through round two. Grabbing your dumbbell, coming into your drinking bird, drive through that hip, use that second leg as you need a little bit of balance if you need it. Otherwise, try and balance on that one leg. Good for ankle stability, knee stability, glute work. Beautiful, one more here. Change. Again, find that balance. Alternating dumbbell switch up. A little bit lighter on the weights on this one. Two to go. Sensational. Grabbing your second dumbbell, going into the makers. Dumbbells down, jump out. Hold your hips up towards the ceiling. Jump in, stand and press. We have five in total. Don't forget if you need it, step out, come down onto the knees. Work to your level today. And done, dumbbells down. Coming into those oblique twists, I'm gonna offer and invite you to go into a harder version. You can stay on that first version, but this version, as you drive it to the side, lift up that hop through that foot. So we're now into an oblique float. One more, beautiful, up to a stand. Ready to go, round three. Grab your dumbbell, into that drinking bird with your alternating dumbbell snatch. Driving it up towards the ceiling. Good, balance should be getting a little bit easier. Round three, change legs, you're doing really well, ninjas. And notice my other leg is just tucked in, quite close, I've got knee to knee. Are you ready to go through another round of the makers? Jump out, row, row, jump or step in. Doing well team, stay with me, you've got this. 
Max out your strength. One more. And jump in, up, and dumbbells down. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you jump onto mytxo.com for further videos. Flat abs is the title of this one today. We'll get you to make your way down. You do have need to have a bit of coordination in today, but please don't get brushed over yourself. Work towards it. Making your way down onto your back, you will need dumbbells, or if you're needing to modify today, leave the dumbbells on the floor. Okay, so I'll get you to extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling. For our advanced version, we're gonna take our dumbbells up, driving our knuckles and diamonds up towards the ceiling, nice straight wrist. Your rib cage is curled up. We're going into a crunch hold with a single leg lower. So inhale the leg down towards the floor, exhale it back up. So this one's a very advanced movement. You've got dumbbells off the front of your shoulder, of the weights of the hands. You're also curling up your rib cage in towards your hips and you're taking your single leg down into the floor. If it's a bit much for you, going into a knee tap. Beautiful, we're going for two more. Curl up that rib cage. And if you need to, you can take the dumbbells down onto the floor at any time. Finished on that next one, we're going into double leg bicycles. Okay, so going in from here, keeping your lower back pressed down onto the floor, I'm gonna get you to lay your head and shoulders down on the floor. Now we're going for a very advanced movement called a double leg bicycle. I'm gonna show you the advanced movement. You're gonna dip your toes down and towards the floor, circle them up and bring them around. Very slowly, very gradual. Your main focus here is keeping your lower back pressing down on the floor. If this one's too advanced for you, going into your single leg bicycle, working one leg at a time, takes off a fair bit amount of pressure on your abdominal round and you'll be able to keep your lower back down onto the floor. That's the most important part of this particular move is keeping grounded through your lower back. So we're definitely not kicking down too far down into the floor. Terrific, we're now going into our hollow tucks. So from a hollow tuck, I'm gonna get you to extend your legs out along towards the floor, extend the arms up, and from here, we're swinging up into that tuck position. Very advanced movement here today, ninjas. If you need the modification, the one that you're going to do, if you're feeling your lower back, I don't want you going into your hollow tuck, so I invite you to bring your knee in as you extend your legs out. Terrific, let's go for two more. So you choose the level that's for you. Terrific, and last one. Fabulous, grabbing a hold of your dumbbells one more time. We're going up into our crunch with our single leg lowers. So holding your dumbbells up, curling up through the rib cage, which makes it much more advanced. Extend those legs up towards the ceiling. Core is switched on, your pelvic floor transverse. Inhale down, exhale up. So our shoulders are lifted up. It's a double-edged sword on this one. You're working through the lower abdominals and the upper abdominals all at once. If it is too much for you, again, lay your head down onto the floor, holding your dumbbells up and working into your toe tap. And last one, terrific. Popping those dumbbells down onto the side, going into your double leg bicycle. Head and shoulders lay down onto the floor. Curl your pelvis in towards your chest. Your rib cage is pushing down and towards the floor. Little toe dip and circle them around. Very advanced. If it is too much for you today, single leg, keeping, working on keeping that lower back, pressing down into the floor. Core is on. Can you feel that your belly button is pulling down and towards your spine and that you're not doming up? Have a look down at your tummy and make sure that it's not going up towards the ceiling as you are dipping those feet down into the floor. Ready to go for that last one, going into our hollow tuck. Extend the arms and legs out along the floor. Swing up onto your tailbone. You're gonna breathe out as you're coming up, having a little bit of dynamics. And again, if the lower back is a bit sensitive, if you need to modify, you have any pelvis feeling, you're gonna modify the version and make it a little bit shorter. And one more. And finished.
Want all the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Bounce Forward Challenge? Well, simply click the link below and fill in your details. You'll not only get all the goss on the challenge, but you go into the draw to win TXO, weighted gloves, an exercise mat, and a really cute TXO visor. Welcome ninjas, ready for your upper body series. Okay, on this one, we're gonna start down onto the floor in a four point kneeling position. This is a tricky move. Give yourself a little bit of time to practice it. And I'm gonna give lots of modifications. It's, you can start off nice and basic and you're still gonna get incredible shoulders from it. It's terrific on the lower back, making your way down onto a four point kneeling. No judgment on yourself. Sometimes we've got to give things a shot. So we're going to move into a four point kneeling. It is a tough exercise. Curl the toes under, elevate those knees up. Now, if you're starting, you might want to go for a little twist. That might even be too much. You might be at the point of holding your knees up off the floor. But if you're good to go into that twist, let's get it going. Let's really move through that lower back, dropping that hip down and towards the ground. Terrific. We're here for a little while. We've got a few more to go. Brilliant. Four more. Three. It's better to push through. Better to be strong than sorry. One more. Fabulous. Done. Ooh, a little rest after that one. Okay, you're going to need your dumbbell for your next one. So we'll have one dumbbell in the middle. A lot of uh, times when we're on our wrists, sometimes you need to have a little stretch through. So you modify as you need to. You can be on your knees or toes. Okay, shoulders are down, curling that pelvis in towards your chest. Minimize the space between your ribcage and your hips. Core is on, draw up through that belly button. Okay, coming down onto elbow, elbow. So elbow, elbow, lift your knees up off the floor if you're up. Going for a hip tap, hip tap, stay here. Come up, come up. Knee mountain climber, knee mountain climber, fantastic. Come down, elbow, elbow, knees up, hip tap, hip tap. Coming back up, knee, knee. Terrific, two more, elbow, elbow, hip tap, hip tap. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears, ninjas. Knee to the elbow. Have you got one more in you? Let's go. Elbow, elbow, rotate, and that can be as large or as small as you need to do. Up, up, knee in, knee in. Fabulous, down onto your knees. The next one you're going to roll over onto your back and we're gonna go into our chest flies. Take your dumbbells with you. Flipping over onto your bottom. Driving down through your pelvic floor, driving up through your pelvic floor. Belly button is down. Time to take a deep breath. We're going to take the arms out to the side and drive them in the middle. Out to the side and in the middle, beautiful. Keeping that core on. Laying the head down to relax through the neck. It's quite extensive that first exercise that we did. Beautiful, we have six to go here. Nice big stretch as you're opening up that arm. We're working through the chest. Beautiful ninjas, we've got four more to go. Four, three, Two, getting those elbows all the way down to the ground. And done, placing your dumbbells down by your sides. Flipping back over. And you thought we were done on that commando, but we're not. We've got one more round. So coming back over into your push-up position. Ninjas, challenge yourself on this round. We're going for four reps. Let's try you. Up off the ground with those knees. Curling your tailbone under. Core is on strong. You've got this for me, ninjas. Let's go. Elbow, elbow, hip tap, hip tap. Come back up, knee, knee. Fantastic, keep going. Hard training, easy combat. Up we come, knee, knee. Stay with me, ninjas. Is that last one? Coming up, knee, knee, down. Little rest before we flip over onto our back. Fabulous, well done. That is such a strong exercise, that one. If you got through, well done. I commend you. Back over onto our back. We're going for 10 chest flies. Nice big stretch to work into that chest. Beautiful. Looking for that strong upper body. 
It's summer, we're in singlets. We've got bathers on. Feel confident, feel proud of all the, every time that you've pressed play. Three to go. And I thank you for pressing play always. And um, fabulous. And well done, ninjas. And if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you like to see more videos from me, make sure you head over to mytxo.com. This one's gonna make you feel alive. We've got some fancy handwork in the first one. You know my drinking bird. So start with your right knee up, left arm up towards the ceiling. Drive into your drinking bird from here. Do your best at getting those arms happening. If they're not, take them away. Good, and tap down. Beautiful, changing legs. So starting with your left leg up, right arm is up towards the ceiling. So you punch out and drive up. You go as quickly, or if you need to, do yourself a favor and drop that second foot behind. Fantastic. Okay, making your way down onto the ground. Okay, grab a heavy dumbbell on this one. You're gonna be in your lunge position, holding your dumbbell by the side, so heavier. Rotate and twist towards the side that you've got your leg out, then come up out of the lunge and then lower it down. If you need to, you may just do a little lift. So maybe you're working up to making your way up off the floor. Keeping your hip flexor stretch happening in as well, which will give you a bit more glute. So by that, I mean nice and open on this side here. Doing really well, stay with me, three to go. Getting that nice, beautiful twist. Last one on this side. And change. Down onto the knee, twist and rise. Again, you may be looking at just driving that knee up. And if you need to, you can also, to help out with the patella, if it's a bit sensitive on the floor here, do yourself a favor and pop your back knee onto a cushion. Lovely, three to go. Two, one more, doing really well, one more. Come up all the way from there. Brilliant, grabbing your second dumbbell. Romanian deadlift is your next one, so you can go medium to heavy on the dumbbells. If it's not your day, don't do dumbbell, just use your fists. Okay, so you're gliding and sliding those dumbbells just past your knee, you're going to your flexibility. So if you've got a nice straight back and you can go down a little bit deeper, then do it, then come back up, beautiful. It's all about the hinge on this one. So straight back, pushing your hips right out the back, keeping your weight through your heels. Keep your shoulders down and back. You can pause, so to grow that muscle through the glutes, hamstrings, just hold down for a couple of seconds. Remember, not too quick. Time under tension. You've heard me say that lots of times before now. Last one, and standing up, beautiful. Okay, grabbing into your dumbbells down onto the floor, going into that first one, which is your drinking bird. So if you need to, you can pop one toe here, going up, and drive through it. Otherwise, and done, changing. Tricky one on those arms. Extend up, punch through. And you may find that you need to hold on to something today. Certainly fine, one more. And done, pushing through, well done. Good, grab your dumbbell. Come down onto your lunge position, the leg that you've got out the front. Rotate to that side lunge up out of it. You may need to, remember, little lift. Two more. Sit one more. Change legs. Twist and rise. Doing well, stay with me. Four to 
go. One more. Up to stand, grabbing your dumbbells. Romanian deadlift to finish. Drive out and up. Beautiful. Nice straight back. Don't rush it. Hold down at the bottom. Four to go. And one more. Done. Awesome work. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today. Thank you for pressing play, ninjas. Now is our time to come down onto the floor. We're gonna go down into our cool down. I want you to slow down your breathing and think about breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and breathing all the way into the abdominal cavity, not just our lungs. Make your way down onto the ground. Okay, so we're going to extend one leg out to the side into our adductor stretch here. This is called a frog rock. Taking your hands out in front, drive your bottom down on towards your heel and then exhaling as you're coming forward, lowering that pelvis down into the floor. Beautiful. So a bit slower pace now. Working through your breath. So no beginning and no ending to the movement. Thinking it like the waves at the ocean. There's no beginning, no ending, making it a continual flow. One more here. Driving that hip down into the ground. Beautiful, I'll get you to change up legs, taking the opposite leg out towards the side, trying to do your best at getting that foot flat down on the floor, reaching those fingertips out in front. So it's sort of a half child's pose as well. From here, reaching forward and letting that hip lower down into the ground, beautiful. We're all so tight in our hip flexors. This is a beautiful change up of how we can stretch out the hips as well. And after that amazing strength program that you've just done with me, it's time to stretch out. Beautiful, and one more here, letting that hip lower down into the floor, such a beautiful moment. And you can always feel free to stay here and, and play in that stretch position. Coming onto hands and knees, coming into our thread the needle, our hands are right underneath our shoulders. We do have our core still switched on. I'll get you to take your right arm down and through, all the way down onto the ground, extend down that shoulder, having that small twist. Exhale, up and around. Beautiful, opening up through that shoulder, inhale down, exhale, up and around. Time to give your body that gift of a stretch after a strong sculpt session. Other side, inhale down, take your nice deep breath at the bottom here, filling up that side through the lung. Exhale, up and around, see if you can reach that little bit deeper. Inhale down, exhale, up and around. Beautiful ninjas. Third final for me here. Inhale and exhale, beautiful. If it's okay to come onto your knees, if you do find it uncomfortable under your knees, feel free to put a cushion underneath your bottom. You can even do this one sitting in a chair as well. I'm gonna get you to bring your fingertips and place them on the outside of the knees there. We're anchoring back into a kneeling cat cow. And from here on your exhale, slide your hands in towards your hips, open up through your chest, take your chin up towards the ceiling and squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back, beautiful. Inhale, and then extend up and really drive those shoulders back and down. And last one. Beautiful ninjas. And from here, I'll get you to flip over onto your bottom. And we're gonna go into our Traditional knee twist hold here, holding for five. Can you pull that knee up towards your chest as well? Three, you'll get a stronger glute stretch. We've worked them hard, it's time to give them the gift of a stretch. Other side, twisting over. And just take it to your range. A few nice deep breaths here in this position. And second last one, beautiful. Okay, extend both legs out along the floor. Take one leg up towards the ceiling. 
flexing through that foot. Hands are at 45 degrees, core is on. Inhale the leg all the way over and exhale back in the center. You're gonna go for three first sides. This is again, stretching out through your lower back, through your glute, through your hip on that side. Fabulous. Ready to change legs for me, ninjas. Taking the opposite leg up and extend that foot all the way to the ground. And you may find that you can't go all the way to the ground on one side, that is definitely fine. You're working to where your body is at on the day, in the moment. And um, beautiful, extend both legs out along the floor. Going into a knee squeeze. So we wanna get into our hip flexors. I'll get you to drive your nose up towards your knee and condensing that position there. Beautiful, cutting off the blood flow in our hip flexors feels good. Drive it into that armpit, drive your nose up towards your knee. Fabulous, and from here, we're gonna roll like a ball, so nice rounded spine, and we're rolling up onto our tailbone, and you're getting a massage on your vertebrae at the same time. Let's go one more, can you come up to a stand? And our cool down is complete. Thank you for pressing play. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today.